What is going on, guys? Tools and Blackhawks here, bringing another card trick tutorial and performance. Um, this one I learned online. It's called the Amazing Card Vanish. Um, now this card trick um, definitely blew me away when I saw um, it online, and I'm ready to blow you guys away as well. So without further ado, I'm going to show you a perf brief performance and then a brief tutorial. So, start the trick off by giving it the deck some shuffles, and give it some cuts as well. And with that, we're ready to begin. So, spectator can go ahead and select, oops, that was a bad fan, go ahead and select any card they want from here. Let's say they select the three of spades. Now, obviously, I'm not going to see that, but... I'm feeling lucky about this trick. I'm going to go ahead and let the spectator... I'm, I'm, I'm willing to lose a card. I'm going to let them go ahead and sign their card. As as much as it hurts me to lose a three of spades. I'm crying right now. <laughs> no. But they can go ahead and uh, sign their card. So I'm just going to do a random signature. Yeah. Just a bunch of scribble. Now I'm going to have them re sort of memorize their scribble. Or their signature. Because they're going to have to do it on one more item. So as much as it hurts me to lose that three spades, I'm feeling lucky about this trick. So now they can go ahead and give me that card back. Now don't forget that three of spades is what I'd be saying to the spectator right now. Place the rest of the cards on top, and we're going to slide their card in and get it all mixed up in the pack. Now their job is to, or yeah, now their next task is to sign this, where's the camera, this ordinary carter. Swear to God, I wish you were here to feel it, but there's nothing wrong with this quarter. It's just an ordinary 25 cent piece. So, they can go ahead and sign it the in a similar way as to how they signed their card. It doesn't have to be exact, just, just do their signature again. This is hard to do this one-handed. Okay, that's good enough. It's just a bunch of scribbles. Just as it was with the card. So... They sign their coin. Looks stupid, but who cares? So, now while they're doing that, I'm just going to give the cards some cuts, some swivels, and some more shuffles. Oops. Oh, whatever. Get some more shuffles. And now, we're ready to move on. So, they have their signed quarter, they have their signed card all mixed up in the pack. I just gave it some more cuts in some shuffles. I'm going to ask for the coin back and we're going to place it on the bottom of the deck in the middle car in the middle of the card on the bottom of the deck just like that. So it's on top of the coin of spades. Um, now I don't know about you guys but I'm kind of feeling something magical about to happen. I'm just going to wave my hands over the cards, wave my hands over the cards, wave my hands over the cards, wave my hands over the cards and just like that the card vanishes right before your eyes and on top is the spectator's signed coin and the signed card right there in their plain view pretty cool okay now thankfully I have a whole another deck of just not a whole another deck just a bunch of extra crazy just a bunch of extra red cards so um Fortunately, I don't lose a three of spades, because if I scroll through here, I got another one right there, yay! And then, before this video, I was doing another, I was trying to make a, a, the same video, but I screwed up in progress, and I lost a nine of hearts too, but thankfully I got a nine of hearts right here, yay, all's good. Okay, so, here is the explanation for this trick. Um, the card they choose is a free choice, so I'm just going to set those in there. So, the materials you need for this trick. Alert! This is a major gimmick trick. If you don't like gimmick tricks, just leave right now, because this is a major gimmick trick. And here's the main gimmick we are making. A hole in any face card that you have lying around. Now, like I said, I have a giant deck here. A bunch of extra cards, so I just used a, a face card. In, the, in this instance, it's the Queen of Spades. Um, like I said, I wasn't shitting you. This is a normal quarter. Nothing wrong with it. 
A Sharpie, if you want them signing your cards, doesn't matter. I just wanted to add some spice to the pot. So, that. And one more tool, an X-Acto blade. And some scotch tape is also uh, recommended, but it doesn't, you don't have to. And I'll get to that in a second. So, to create your gimmick card, um, cut on a flat surface. What you're going to do is you're going to set the coin. Here. I'll get another coin of spades. Or coin of, yeah. But I'm not going to do it again because it takes forever. So, here's another coin of spades I found in my giant pack. But what you're going to do is you're going to set it. It, does, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just try to get as close to center as you can. It really doesn't matter, but it looks better in center because when you turn it over and you say, I'm going to place the, co or the coin at the top of the coin of space, it just doesn't look right. So just try to get it within, you know, this wheel region. Sorry, this wheel region. So what I did, it made it a lot easier for me, was I put my quarter in the middle of my card. I put some scotch tape in both directions. I put one piece of tape across here this way and one piece of tape horizontally like that to tape down the coin as I cut its edges. Um, and don't worry, uh, scotch tape does not ruin a uh, um, a cushioned card like this or it doesn't ruin what's ever on this card. It won't rip it or anything. So scotch tape is okay. Don't use duct tape because I, I, I've not used that before and I would not try it. <laughs> And you could also use a glue stick to put on the bottom of your coin if you wanted to, and then put it on the spot of the card. It wouldn't matter because that spot of the card that has glue on it is coming. It would it would be it would come out anyway because, and there would be no sticky spots on here. For instance, <clears throat> the dot I cut out of here, I could have put glue on the bottom of the dot, or I could have put glue on the bottom of my quarter. And then I cut around it, and as you can see, the the uh, the card piece would come out, and you just have a normal smooth card. So glue stick or tape works. I use tape, and um, yeah, that's probably the biggest part. It's gonna take a while for you to cut um, around. It is. I mean, it won't take a while, but it takes a lot of force. So cut on something flat and hard. That's what she said. Um, and you're going to have to go over it a couple times as well. It's not going to come... It's not like paper. It's not where you just press down and cut around and there's there it is. But no. You're going to need to go over it a couple times. And then... Um, I didn't have the most success with my card. Um, mine was very off-centered at first. But as you can see, I fixed it up. I... I smoothed out the edges by putting the card on the top of the deck and then taking my quarter and kind of smoothing out the edges smoothing out the edges like this getting all like kind of like sandpapering the edges so the uh, coin can nicely come go through there wow this is a lot of that's what she said moments isn't this da 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 yeah so that's basically your gimmick now step two is the setup setup once you have your coin or once you have your gimmick card and you've tested it a couple times um, to see if you can if it, it'll go through nicely <laughs> oh god I'm kinda regretting doing this card trick now so yeah so at first when I did this um, it got stuck to the card <laughs> oh my god it got stuck to the card and when I peeled it away it took the quarter with it so make sure you you um, you just get the whole nice and you know what? I'm just gonna stop talking because this is getting really weird okay so here's the setup of the trick you're gonna put your gimmick card right on top now it is not I mean I guarantee you guys when I started this trick you did not notice the hole in the, in the card I mean seriously that is probably the hardest thing to notice ever so the, that's the good part about it it blends in like that so you can start off the trick by giving the deck some shuffles and just maintaining that top card. Okay, and then give it some you can give it some false cuts, but just make sure you you can do whatever you want, just maintain that top card. Uh maintain your gimmick card on the top, okay? Now, step two. You're gonna swing cut about a fourth of the cards into your left hand and spread the rest of the cards on the ground. Now you don't want them picking 
from here, obviously. You want them picking from here. Now, another way you could do it, but people are sometimes nosy and like to pick the top card. You could kind of cover the gimmick with your thumb and spread out the entire deck like that. But people get nosy, so I recommend just doing this. So they pick their card. Let's say it's the five of hearts. Now, I already, I don't want to waste more cards. So you guys know they sign the card. But in prog or when they're doing, when they're signing the card, you're just going to slide that gimmick card on the top and catch a pinky break right there. Make sense? Slide it out, catch a pink brick. Now, they hand the card signed back to you. You place it on top towards them because you don't want them seeing you don't want them seeing the shadow of the gimmick card, so you're gonna face it towards them. You're gonna say, Alright, there's your card. We're gonna place the rest of the pack on top, maintaining that pinky brick underneath the uh, queen. And then you're gonna say all you have to do is just slide it in. That's what she said. And just like that. And now you're going to hand them the quarter and say, go ahead and sign this quarter. And while they're signing the quarter, obviously I had to multitask because I don't have a spectator with me, so I signed it, then did the moves. But while they're signing it, while they're signing it, you, t you swing cut about half the cards to the bottom, and then you can swivel where they, where your, your, uh, well, oh, hold on, I, I, I didn't explain that very well. Okay. Okay, so... What you have here is you have a pinky break underneath your gimmick card. You're going to keep that pinky break, and you're going to swing cut, and now you're going to transfer it into a thumb break where your gimmick card is, and place it on the bottom. Maintain that thumb break. Swivel the rest of the cards, main, er, which has your gimmick card and their spectator's card right there to the bottom, and now you're ready to go. So, you can set the deck down because you don't want them to think that you're tampering with the deck, doing anything to it. And you could flick the card or, or coin around and stuff and say, and now you have your signed card in the middle of the deck, and you have your signed coin right here. Now you can pick up the deck, face it towards yourself, and say, I'm going to place the card, and you're going to place it right here in the hole. <laughs> and you're going you're to say, I'm going to place the, uh, the coin right in the middle of the bottom card of the deck. And now you're going to say, I feel something magical coming along here. And then you wave your hands over and then when you come through the fourth or fifth time or third or fourth whatever you want to do you you take your left hand if you're righty or you take your right hand if you're lefty I'm righty so I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna lightly grab that top card covering everything that's going on with my r r right hand this is a fast motion by the way I'll do it fast motion for you guys but I'm just showing what's going on is I'm taking that top coin and pulling it straight up and lifting everything away but you're doing it kind of fast. That 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 motion takes practice. Believe me, it's it's not something you're gonna get on the first try. You just come over here, come over here, come over here, and then you lift it up, and then put it over. Uh, if you're if you're on a table, you can drop it in your lap or do something like that. But uh, this is on camera, so I just threw it to the side. So you gotta come. You gotta be. <laughs> you gotta be creative um, with that. Um, as to how you're going to get rid of that coin. So this is how it would look in fast motion. I feel something magical coming along. And there you go. So, that's the tutorial. Um, major gimmick alert. But have some fun with it. It'll amaze your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.